of this. Wait, the games. Oh, 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 oh. But it's a different, a different glass, right? I mean, this is two classes. Yeah. 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 Before we go on with the last part of our program, uh, David Hattner, the conductor and music director of the Portland Youth Philharmonic, has come uh, to talk a little bit about the importance of orchestra and um, other things. So this is David Hattner. too much of your time because I know you're all here to hear your sons and daughters and grandchildren play and I really came here to congratulate you, the parents and the relatives who kept this program from going on the cutting room floor. It's unbelievably important to have instrumental music and in particular string education in our schools. If you think of everyone that you know, I bet you can't think of one person that hates all music. Everyone loves some kind of music, and there's no better way to experience it than to play it on an instrument. It requires the full resources of the intellect, spirit, and the body. And there's no better way to augment the regular academic ed education of a young person than playing music. So I congratulate all of you for helping to keep this program going and to keep great teachers like Mr. Taylor uh, working on behalf of your children. So thank you very much for the hard work that you do. to the students whose hard work make concerts like this possible. It's incredibly difficult to play a string instrument or any instrument at a level that gets you onto a stage. So I want to pay tribute to them for making this program necessary to continue as well. Just a brief word about my orchestra, the Portland Youth Philharmonic. I'm sure many of you have heard of it, uh, but you may not know that the Portland Youth Philharmonic is the oldest youth orchestra in America. It was founded in 1924, and if you watch the show Organ Experience on OPB, you will know that it goes back even further. Uh, if you want to see an interesting documentary about our orchestra, it's called Sagebrush Symphony. You can watch it on the Organ Experience website. It's a really uh, inspiring story about a woman who believed that Children must play music, and I'm sure it will speak to many of you directly. Our next performance is December 26th at 7.30 p.m. It's a chance to hear our whole organization from our young string ensemble, some of whom are as young as seven years old, to our wind ensemble, our conservatory orchestra, and my orchestra, the Portland Youth Philharmonic, who will be playing with our special guest, Richard Zeller, a world-famous baritone who makes his home in Portland, and who will be singing music from Bizet's Carmen and Rogers and Hammerstein's Carousel. It'll be a fun evening for the family. Please come out and support us and keep this program going. And I hope to be back in another year to hear you again and see some of you again. Thank you very much. I might say that David was very supportive, to me especially, in the last six months when things looked mighty bleak and like there was no hope. Uh, he and I were in communication email-wise, and he offered to do many, many things to help us. And um, just having him there and knowing that he was on our side was wonderful. Thank you, David. Thank you very much. <laughs> we are all interconnected. The school orchestras, the community orchestras, and people who are here in, these, in the schools play in the community orchestras too. String players are an odd breed 
And um, so we have to stick together and support one another. It's the, uh, and I feel both from the Portland Youth Philharmonic and from the Oregon Symphony, who was also very supportive to us, um, that uh, we are connected to them and we have friends in high places, so to speak. So thank you, David, and we will go on. Thank you. pieces tonight that are medleys of uh, Christmas songs, which you might know, and um, chose these because, well, it is the Christmas season, and because, well, you know, doggone it, I really like Christmas songs, and uh, I just uh, can't get enough of them, and so this is Angels, Shepherds, Christmas Kings. 